Say hello to everyone. This is Leo, my little pumpkin. He's so sweet. Are you a sweet little kitty? Yes, he is. So today we are talking about pumpkins, pumpkins, pumpkins. I got the pumpkin fever. So today that is what we're doing. If you love wreath tutorials, please consider subscribing if you're not subscribed already and please hit the like button because that's what helps this channel grow and this video grow. Hi, what's with the pa there? Okay, it's time to stop. Okay, so I'm going to stop and let's get started on the videos. Here are the supplies for this wreath. I have a pumpkin wreath form. I have a foam pumpkin. This one's from the Dollar Tree and it's about four and a half inches in width or diameter. Then I'm going to use this beautiful bouquet. Look at this. Originally it was $9.99 and I don't buy these unless they're a minimum 60% off. Next I'm going to be using this beautiful blue and white fabric and because it's a cotton fabric it's a little bit on the thin side so I decided I'm going to first use the white one and then overlay it with this one for a nice solid and beautiful print. I'm going to be using some blue and white ribbon and this white one is really pretty because it's kind of lacy and sheer in the middle and it has a beautiful design on the side and it's just going to match the fabric very very nicely and it's going to give a little elegance. The first thing I want to take care of is the pumpkin so I'm just going to take the tag off and the way the pumpkin is going to go on my actual wreath is this way. Now I'm going to face my pumpkin the way it's going to be on my wreath form and that is with my stub going a little bit forward because I want this part to show which means I'm going to be cutting the pumpkin right here a little bit sideways. Nothing extravagant. I'm using a letter opener. I'm going to be painting the pumpkin in a dark blue color and the reason I cut this first is so we can take care of this foam part and paint this part to kind of seal it in. Grabbing some blue paint, I'm going to just start painting my pumpkin and I'm going to give it two nice coats. My blue pumpkin is nice and dry and the stem is actually this kind of gold color but with my decor I need it to be silver so I'm just going to put a little bit of silver paint and now I'm just going to let it dry. Now it's time to hot glue our fabric to our pumpkin. The size of the fabric pieces that you're going to need in order to cover these pumpkins from the Dollar Tree is approximately 22 inches by 17. Before I start hot gluing, I'm just going to grab a little clip, fold one side of my pumpkin, just fold that inch in and put a little clip on that side. Then I'm going to face it this way, make sure that I have plenty of fabric on both sides this way. And then I'm going to start by hot gluing my edges. And I usually do side to side and I'll do a quick one just like this. And then this side, exactly where the clip was. After I hot glue the sides, I'm going to do the bottom and then the top. Next, I cut two slits for the fabric that needs to go inside. And then now I'm just going to go all the way around the pumpkin and start bringing all the fabric in and hot gluing it in place. And now I'm doing the exact same thing with my blue and white fabric and just hot gluing it to the back. After both of your fabrics or one nice thick fabric is hot glued to the back, grab your pair of scissors and about an inch from the edge, clean it up and cut off all that excess. At this point, this is what your pumpkin should look like in the back and of course the front. As far as the stem of this pumpkin, I'm really not planning on having it shown because the flowers are going to cover it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab my blue ribbon that I have on hand and I'm just going to go down. Since I have my blue ribbon out, I'm going to make a simple bow. Make sure I have plenty of ribbon for the tail because I want the tail to be nice and long. Now for the white ribbon, I'm just going to be measuring the tail to be the same as my blue one, but I'm going to make my loops a little smaller. Now I'm grabbing a piece of floral wire and I'm going to bring the bow together. For the center of the bow, I'm grabbing some vase fillers from the Dollar Tree and I know you see me use these all the time, but I love these. I'm going to cut off about 
two thirds to one third and I'm going to use the two thirds in the center and the reason I'm bringing some silver into this is because our pumpkin has a silver stem and we need to work just a little bit more silver into our wreath. For the ribbon tails I'm just going to do these on a slant so just cut a little triangle. Now we're going to bring everything together starting with my flowers. I'm going to grab another zip tie and I'm going to tie my bouquet a little higher and then it's time to cut my stem. Now I'm grabbing some floral wire and I'm first going through the top portion of the bouquet. The other floral wire, I'm just putting it through the zip tie for kind of extra security, but it's going to go in between the two zip ties. And so I'm just going to do a few twists and don't use the flimsiest wire. You do want this to go through the fabric. I have both of them through the fabric. Now we're going to tie them around these metal bars. And I made sure that one side of my wire went on one side of the metal bar and the other went on the other. After making a few twists, I'm going to twist both of these together. Now it's time to bring our pumpkin in and my pumpkin is going to go right on top of that greenery and the fabric. We are going to hot glue as much as we can and attach the pumpkin to our wreath form. Now that my pumpkin is attached, it's time to add the bow. So same thing, I'm going to use my floral wire and just poke little holes through where I want to attach just like that. And that's it for the Spode Blue and White Pumpkin Wreath. For this pumpkin wreath, I'm going to be using two pumpkin wreath forms. And before you actually start this wreath, make sure that your pumpkin wreaths fit one on top of each other nicely. So I'm going to take this top one off and I'm going to grab burlap. This one was thrifted and this is actually a sack so it's doubled. If you're working with burlap that's thinner, you might consider putting a fabric underneath and then the burlap. Also for this wreath, we're going to be using zip ties instead of hot glue to attach everything. Now I'm going to put my other pumpkin right on top and I'm just going to start by bringing one of the zip ties in from the bottom and zip tying it in the back. Keeping in mind, we need to make sure to catch the top pumpkin and the bottom pumpkin wreath form. Now that my sides are done, I'm going to work from the back just because it's easier. Now I'm cutting two slits to bring in this part because I want to cover this in some nautical rope. And so I'm going to grab another zip tie and take care of that. And now all the rest of these, I'm just going to start folding and zip tying them in place. Make sure you're catching both of the pumpkin wreath forms. Tighten it up to the back and let's cut off that tail. That's it, we're just going to continue doing this, going all the way around. As you can see, I'm attaching my zip ties about one and a half to two inches. I feel like my burlap is in place. And now I'm going to cut off the excess, but not too close to the edge. I'm not going to be doing an inch like I usually do with fabric. This time I'm going to go off maybe two inches because burlap just frays a lot more. And if you want to give it a dot of glue and just hot glue it in place, you can definitely do that. Now that our base is done, let's do the edging to make sure we cover all the zip ties. Grabbing some nautical rope and I'm just going to start from the top right here from the center. And this first one is just going to go right along the bottom edge of our pumpkin. We are going to do two rows so if your zip tie shows don't worry about it. Our main goal with this first row is to cover the edge. Mm -hmm. 
the second row is going to be a piece of cake. You're just going to put hot glue right there in the crease between your nautical rope and the actual wreath form. And this is what's going to cover all the zip ties. And it's going to give you a neat little edging on your pumpkin. The rest of the nautical rope, I'm just going to twist around and hot glue to our actual pumpkin stem. Now it's time to decorate this pumpkin and I decided to go for this gorgeous yellow and blue. These daisies have yellow on the inside and then of course these mums are so bright and beautiful. After pulling up all the greenery on my daisies, I'm going to snip them all off as far as I can. Because we're working on a flat surface, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my daisies at 90 degrees right here. Same thing with the mums, we're just going to get all the greenery up. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick the longer ones and leave those alone. But the shorter ones, we're going to face forward. Now we need to see how big we want this, how far we want these to go on our pumpkin. And then we're going to bring our daisies in. Three on each side. Before I zip tie these in place, I want to make sure that I make room for our bow. Okay, my florals are done. Now I'm going to grab some ribbon. I got this ribbon at Hobby Lobby, and of course, I tried to get these when Hobby Lobby has sales. Let's measure how long we want our tail to be. Make our bow, and I'm just making a simple bow. Let's bring the bow together with a little clip. And then I decided to add a little blue ribbon. This one's 5 8 of an inch. I'm going to make a little simple bow. Grabbing a little floral wire, we're going to bring it together. Nice and tight in the back. Because the blue ribbon is on top, we're going to need yellow. So that's why I got two inches of this yellow one, and I'm folding it in to make it smaller. I think that'll be fine. And then bring it back. Now I'm just going to tie the bow to the back of our greenery. I'm going to be using zip ties to attach it to the actual wreath form. Two inches from the actual top. And then I'm going to go around the stem here. I'm going to go back down and I'm going to zip tie it in the back. This is what it's going to look like. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Zip tie in the back and cut off the excess. Now that everything's attached, I'm going to cut my ribbon on an angle going up. this wreath I'm starting of course with a pumpkin wreath form some pipe cleaners and six rolls of deco mesh I'm also going to be using some ribbon and of course some decor for the top of the pumpkin the first thing I'm going to do is the border around the wreath form itself and I'm just using some orange ribbon you can use whatever orange ribbon you have on hand I just wrapped it around a few times a little bit of hot glue and I'm just going to be wrapping it around the pumpkin and hot gluing it from time time to time. As you can see, my ribbon on the outside is all attached. Let's take care of the pipe cleaners. The pipe cleaners, I'm going to be folding in half and then in half again, which is going to give us little three inch pieces because for this method, we just don't need them that long. To get started on our chain method, I'm going to take two rolls of the deco mesh and just layer them one on top of another. The chain method is another version of the bubble method, but it is different because what we're going to do is we're going to bring our deco mesh together use our little pipe cleaner and let's do two good twists now let's start making the chain you can do five to six inches i'm going to keep it at five because i don't want my wreath to be too bulky this is a pumpkin and basically here comes the chain part every five inches i'm going to grab a pipe cleaner and just do a little twist five inches pipe cleaner and twist. 
and I'm going to do this to the entire roll of the deco mesh. I got two chains done. This is four deco mesh rolls. So I'm going to attach it with my little pipe cleaner and I'm going to just give it two twists in the back and then for extra security I've and now I'm going to fold my chain over and I'm going to start dividing the deco mesh as I'm attaching the next section. I'm taking the next one and I'm separating the two deco mesh pieces. So basically just kind of opening it up already. And then with the two little pipe cleaners, I'm going to attach it a few twists, open up and attach with pipe cleaners. My first row is done and I have 16 little bubbles in here. Then I have one coming from this end to this end, just like this. From here to here, there it is. I'm going to open it up and then I'm going to start going back. So one chain should be enough for two rows for a total of six deco mesh rolls. I start my chains at the top and of course finish at the top because I want a nice smooth bottom here. And don't forget we do have one little bubble at the bottom between each rows. So I'm going to have one between this row too. It's just a lot nicer when you end up finishing at the top. Here is how the pumpkin looks from the back and here is the front. Now I wanna take care of the stem. Grabbing my brown deco mesh, I'm going to make some curls and use them as the stem. I'm just going to curl until I feel like it's not going to fray on me. Let's clip that. Let's make another curl. I'm going to bring it together with a pipe cleaner. Get a bit of a few tight twists. I'm going to make two more curls and I'm just going to add these bundles to the stem. For the finishing touch for this wreath, I'm going to make a bow using this beautiful ribbon from the Dollar Tree. First, I'm going to measure how big I want the tail, and I want this one to be quite long. And then I'm going to start measuring off another 12 inches and start making a bow. So first, I measured my 12, then I'm going to measure my 12, and I'm just kind of going around. I have a simple bow for now. Measuring another 12, make another loop. And we're just kind of going around another 12 a loop and now i'm going to bring it together in the center grab a pipe cleaner make it nice and tight cut off that excess this is where my bow is going to be kind of laying down and in the back i'm just going to attach it to this little corner and to that corner as beautiful as this pumpkin wreath is turning out already, I wanted to incorporate some of this green into the actual bowl. So I decided to grab some mesh tubing. I know I wanted some this way, so let's do three of them going down like that. And what I decided to do is just to tie them around the pipe cleaner at the base of the bow. Next, I'm going to put some in the center, three loops, inch in the beginning, inch in the back, find my center, bring it in, grab that pipe cleaner, and we are going to put this in the center of our bow. I'm all done with the wreath, but I felt like it needed a little center right here, so I'm grabbing a vase filler, and this one's gold. It's going to match all the edging on my ribbon, and I'm just going to give it a little bit of hot glue and just place it right in the center for that finishing sweet touch. So much for watching i am always so humble to chat with you in the comments because most of the time you guys make me cry just so you know <laughs> because you're just so kind to me so in the comments below i would love to know which pumpkin was your favorite because you know what we're all a little different and one of you like something the other one might like the other it's just we're drawn to something different because we're all different and that's why this world is so beautiful because we're all so different right with that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing for more wreath tutorials. And don't forget to hit the like button because that is what keeps this video going and my channel. Have a beautiful and blessed day and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye, my sweet friends. Mwah.